Across from the island where so many died, there are people still waiting, with young people still missing. What is emerging here is the story of those rescued and questions about the police response. The heart of this rescue was a campsite and their small boats. Azar and Beyond Juve launched their boat to help people swimming from the island where a man dressed as a policeman was hunting their friends down. The first thing was that, that they don't trust us. They uh, shout from the water, can I trust you? And we have to make um, uh, some comfort to them to say, yes, you can trust me. The gunmen roamed the island for over an hour. Many of the young people were using their mobiles to call for help. Someone had to call the police and then some other girl said, you don't need to, we have, but they don't believe us. The injured were driven to a nearby town. That's where the police were, waiting for assault units to arrive from Oslo. The police roadblock terrified those rescued. It was a policewoman there with a black suit and, um, and gun. And all the seven people in my car were screaming in shock. They shouted at me, don't stop, don't stop, drive, drive, because that's how the guy was dressed. When the police SWAT teams arrived, they used a local police boat, but it was too small for them, quickly took on water and broke down. So they had to turn to private boats like this in order to make it across to the island where the gunman was. This was the boat eventually used by the SWAT teams. They captured the gunman after just two minutes. It was a press helicopter that took this picture of Breivik on the island but the police helicopter was way to the south and the police teams travelled by road. But today the police have defended the speed of their response. I don't think this could have gone uh, faster. I can't see how that uh, could be possible within this uh, distance and under these conditions. So we will always try to be better, but uh, I can't see how we could have done this uh, faster. The local community is reluctant to criticize the police response, but it is the people of a small campsite who were the rescuers of shivering and injured young people. I have seen things that nobody should have to see. The overriding problem was that the gunman had calculated that by setting off an explosion in Oslo, he would draw the police there while he had time to massacre young people at a summer camp. Gavin Hewitt, BBC News, Norway.